This royal couple stands out from the rest in Malaysia. The crown prince of Kelantan and his wife, a model-looking blonde of Swedish descent. They are so different. Is this really true love? Keep watching to find out what fate awaits this couple. You will also see what their baby boy looks like. Recently, members of the royal families in Malaysia have been able to marry anyone they want. Therefore, more and more often, princes and princesses choose a person of non-Malaysian origin as a husband and wife. For example, I recently told the story of the daughter of the current king of Malaysia, Princess Tanko Ina, who married a commoner of Dutch origin, Danish Verbas. He used to be a model and marketer. Today, they are raising two children. Their story is very touching. They have a lot in common – age, interests, and beautiful appearance. But the couple I'm going to talk about today is completely different. Crown Prince of Kelantan, Tenku Mohamed Faiz Petra, married Swede Safi Louise Johansson in 2019. The wedding took place in an atmosphere of complete secrecy, and at that time so little was known about them. However, just looking at their photos, they were clearly completely different people from different worlds. The groom was 45 five years old at the wedding, and his bride was 32, a significant age difference. The couple also had a big difference in social status. Crown Prince Tenku Mohamed Faiz Petra was born into a royal family, and from childhood he was accustomed to luxury and power. His family owns millions of dollars, and his older brother, Sultan Mohamed V, was chosen as the 15th King of Malaysia in 2016. The Crown Prince received a good education in London and then took the post of regent in Kelantan. He can rule over that region if the official sultan cannot perform his duties at the time. The crown prince has enormous power. That's why many girls might have wanted to become his wife. But among all the beauties, the prince chose this simple Swedish girl. They met in London, where, as you already know, the prince received his education. At this time, Sophie Louise was also studying, but she had to earn a living through hard work, unlike the crown prince, who from childhood could receive whatever he wanted by birthright. No one knows exactly under what circumstances they met, as the couple tries to keep the details of their personal lives a secret. Sophie Louise's official biography states that she was born and raised in Sweden, but then moved to the UK to work as an au pair. Her family has no noble origin and is apparently not rich, since the girl had to work hard. In the UK, Sophie Louise lived with the host family and worked a lot around the house. Who would have thought then that the future princess was serving them? The story really is similar to the fairy tale about Cinderella. But how could a prince fall in love with a simple girl from another country? Her Nordic appearance probably attracted him. Sophie Louise has a rare beauty and looks like a model. However, as you can see, this couple greatly differs in everything – age, origin and appearance. Is love really capable of breaking all barriers? Who knows, everything is possible. However, if we remember another similar unequal marriage in this family, we will understand why many people doubt that this union has a future. You may remember that in 2018 the elder brother of the crown prince and at that time the king of Malaysia, Mohammed V, married a Russian girl, Aksana Voivodina. They also had a big age difference. The groom was 49 years old and the bride was 26 at the wedding time. Aksana was a model and beauty queen. Looking at such a woman, it is impossible not to fall in love. Unsurprisingly, the king lost his mind from passion and married her too quickly. 
this act became fatal in the king's life, then it turned out that Oksana had previously led a promiscuous lifestyle. She had nude pictures, flirted with other men, and perhaps even dated them. In the Western world these are all considered ordinary things. But the king of Malaysia must set an example for other people and live the life of a model Muslim. Many people around the king strongly influenced him and demanded that he abdicate the throne, since he discredited the honor of the royal throne. King Mohammed V, under strong emotions, divorced his wife by a third talaq. The irrevocable divorce executed by simply announcing to his wife that he dissolved the marriage, which is considered to be the most offensive and disapproved type of divorce in Islam. At that time, Aksana gave birth to a son from the king, but Muhammad V did not recognize the child and abandoned him. It was a big scandal that was covered all over the world. Unfortunately, a beautiful love story ended so sadly, and all because they were people from different worlds who could not understand other countries' cultural customs. In her homeland, Oksana is considered a successful woman, and no one condemned her for walking the catwalk in a swimsuit and dating men before marriage. But in a conservative Muslim country like Malaysia, Oksana's lifestyle is considered promiscuous, and such a girl cannot be a match for royalty. That's why many people don't believe that the union of Mohammed V's younger brother and the Swedish blonde has a few future. An ordinary European girl who worked as an au pair may be attracted to the wealth and influence of a Malaysian prince, but he may only be attracted to her by her youth and beauty. But can such an alliance be strong? And even if the prince and a commoner from Sweden really got married for love, you know that feelings will end sooner or later, and then they will have to build a relationship based on respect and understanding. Standing. For example, according to Muslim traditions, a male Malaysian royal can have several wives. However, it is unlikely that a woman brought up in European values will ever be able to accept this. Will they pass this test? Maybe yes, maybe no. Despite all the rumors on social networks, the couple demonstrates tenderness and affection for each other. In many photos together, they touchingly hold hands and declare their love for each other on various occasions, such as Valentine's Day. In July 2023, the couple's eldest son, Tinku Mohammed Johan Petra, was born, which brought great joy to the whole family. The couple gladly shows their son to the public and posts his photos online. How much he looks like his father! This boy is the future heir to the throne of Kelantan and may one day take over as king of Malaysia. Sophie Louise enjoys motherhood and is actively involved in Malaysian life and culture. Meanwhile, she does not forget the traditions of her home country, Switzerland. Sometimes she shows photos on her blog of her dressed in traditional Swedish clothes or cooking traditional Swedish dishes. Perhaps she misses her homeland because she had to change her lifestyle completely after the wedding. Unfortunately, not all foreigners can accept a new culture, and it's even more difficult for the royals. One wrong move could bring shame to the entire royal family, therefore the prince's wife is probably under stress, realizing the responsibility imposed on her. The world knows many marriages between Europeans and Malaysians, but unfortunately many of them ended in divorce. Do you think the marriage of the Malaysian crown prince and the Swedish beauty is true love? Share in the comments. And of course, like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.